Hey everyone, and welcome into the K0 LWC Ham Shack tonight. Before we get started, like this video and subscribe for more great ham radio videos in the future. Today, we're gonna to be talking about the new Anytone 878, one of the hottest analog and DMR radios on the market right now. First things first, uh, I have owned the Anytone 868, the predecessor to the 878, for about a year and a half now. Um, so I feel really comfortable making this comparison. Now, when you take a look at both radios, uh, they look pretty much identical. And that's because they are literally identical. The only difference on the exterior case between these two radios are the colors of the buttons here at the top. The 868 in orange and the 878 in blue. Now, please note, this is an aftermarket antenna. This is a Nagoya NA701. This is not the stock antenna that comes on the 868. I threw that thing away on day one. We'll talk about that more here in a second. Now, again, these radios look identical in the exterior case, but that's not where the identical features really stop. When you look inside the case of the new 878, uh, there's been a great uh, post published on radioofficion.com. Uh, thought props to you for doing this teardown. And the memory, the PCB, and the processor are all identical to the 868. Now this goes against some of the marketing you've seen on some websites that sell the 878 because they list new fast processor. That is not true. Again, a teardown has revealed the 878 has the same memory, the same PCB and processor as the 868. In fact, the PCB on this radio is even stamped version 2D868 right inside on the hardware itself. And that really sums up this new 878 well. It really is a version 2 of the 868. So it is polished. It is better. It is more stable. It's a great radio. I'm not saying it's not. Uh, and if you don't have an Anytone or a DMR radio and you're looking to get one, or you're looking to switch from a TYT to an Anytone, the 878 is a fantastic radio. I highly recommend them. But I do feel a little bummed that Anytone apparently has put out that the processor has changed when that simply is not true. Now what has changed on the new 878 compared to the old 868 is someone has reworked the firmware and done a pretty nice job of it as well. Um, they certainly changed the bootloader around and also just some general settings in the external flash memory, all of which make this radio operate much more smoothly from a firmware standpoint than the 868. And because of the reworkings in the firmware and the memory and how it handles running the radio, they've also had the ability to add some new features. Uh, they have now automatic repeater roaming, which is an awesome feature. And also they've added APRS on both digital and on analog. A lot of people have been requesting APRS on this radio and now it's finally here. Thanks to Anytone for listening to the ham radio community for that. I picked up my Anytone 868 a year and a half ago for about $160. And now the 878 is coming in at around 220. And this is what's a little frustrating is that the price jumps significantly, but the hardware still remains the same. That's kind of a bummer. I feel a little bit like eh, a little grimy on any tone for doing that. But I understand you want to increase their profit margins. Hey, go for it. Um, I still think it's a great radio, even at the 220 price point. Now this is one notable change that you should all be aware of. Now, you'll notice that I did have, again, this Nagoya NA701 antenna on here. And the reason why is the 868 antenna that comes stock is absolutely terrible. It's rock hard and performance wise was not good at all. Now, on the new 878, this is the stock antenna that comes in the radio. It is much more flexible uh, because the 868 antenna used to jab you in the ribs, it was so stiff. This one is much better, and I can confirm after doing my own testing here that this antenna does perform much, much better than the stock 868 antenna. So just from that alone as well, if you're looking between the two, should I spend the extra money, should I not? Um, just the antenna alone, much better performance on the 878. But what if you have the Anytone 868 already and you're like, I don't want to buy an entirely new radio that's literally the same on the inside. Can I just upgrade? Yes, you can. If you go ahead and reflash your 868, and this is technical, it does take some extra work and for you to be brave enough to try it, I can confirm that uh, W0RMT Bud here in Colorado has successfully done this and turned his 868 
into an 878. Yes, it's entirely possible. There is some technical ability needed, but you can change over your radio from an 868 to an 878 and, and unlock all the great stableness of the new radio. So what's the bottom line on the new Anytone 878? I would say if you have an 868 and you have some technical ability, look at upgrading the firmware uh, from the 878 into your 868. You're pretty much gonna have the same exact radio, bar none. We know from teardowns that that's true. If you are coming into DMR and you're wondering which one should I get, I would say the 878 is worth the extra money over the 868 presently on the market. The antenna alone is a nice enough thing to want it. And also I said everything else being the same, the antenna does make a massive difference. Now let's take a look at each of the menus in these radios and see how they differ. And you can actually see them up close on the screen, what they're like. Let's take a look. All right, getting up close with the 868 here on the left, the 878 here on the right. Uh, we are checking out the traffic here on 31088 through my hotspot. And you'll notice that the screens are different. The 868 features a light blue screen with a darker blue backdrop on the very bottom. And the 878 has a really slick looking black background with white lettering. It just looks much nicer, cleaner, sleeker, much, much better looking here on the 878. As you can tell from the layout, they literally are identical, no major changes. And that is essentially the same case even here, but with some minor tweaks. Uh, going in here to the menu systems, we see contacts has been recalled now to talk group is the name. Messages are now called SMS. Call log is the same and scan is the same. There's also a few features like roaming that you will not find here on the 868. Overall, they are almost identical with a few small tweaks in the menu and firmware here that you'll notice as you go into some sub menus, but overall, they're pretty much identical. Thanks for watching this video, everybody. I hope you enjoyed it. I highly recommend the 878, even the 868, although I said if you don't have the radio already, just get the 878. It is a fantastic radio, well worth the money. Uh, again, just great stuff here. Thanks again for watching. I'll catch you again next time.